So how can we explain the geographic distribution of organisms? There's no doubt that Drury Biology professor Teresa Carroll is passionate about teaching. I think most students would agree that she's serious, but she's so excited about the things that she wants you to learn that you get really excited along with her. Let's just look at the physiographic level. That passion goes with her, even when Dr. Carroll takes a class out of the country. Como te llamas? She and her 13 students went scuba diving off the island of Roatan in the Caribbean in January. But it wasn't for fun. They were collecting data for the Roatan Institute for Marine Sciences. We were at breakfast by 7. We were in a pre-dive lecture or seminar, seminar talk by 8. And we were on the boat by 8.45, gearing up. And we were in the water by 9. That was our first dive. Come back, go to lunch, do another pre-dive discussion and data talk and then get back for your second dive um, typically around one or two and then come back again record data work on analyzing your data and then get ready for the evening but one of those evenings had nothing to do with collecting data it was to help the children of Roatan Steven, hand me a 29. during the rainy season um, Often uh, raw sewage flows down the streets and the children don't have rain boots and therefore they often end up with parasitic diseases that enter through cuts and scrapes in their feet. And so they said to me that one of the best things we could do is to, to be able to supply them with rain boots. To raise money, Dury student Cody Sullivan designed a t-shirt. The student sold the shirts and received donations and sent more than $3,000 to the Soul Foundation of Roatan, which purchased boots, backpacks, and school supplies for more than 100 children. We simply gave these kids rain boots and school supplies and they treated it as if they were getting a new Xbox or something like that. The joy in these children's eyes and the, the pride that they had when they would stand up with their boots and their little book bags on was just overwhelming and m most of us fought back tears at several points during the evening. Helping the children of Roatan was a major departure from the academic focus of the Dury students' research, but it was an experience they'd like to repeat. When we went and gave the rain boots to the kids, it was, you know, we were cracking jokes on the way there, just being goofy because we were all so close with our class, and then we gave the rainbow to the kids and while we were leaving, it was, we were all quiet and you know, we just kept saying, this is the best day, let's do it again. Like this was such a good day. Ready? Uno, dos, tres. 